Now this is a typical rates of change question. We're given a circle then and it's got a radius r and we're told that the rate of change of area, that is the area, is increasing at a rate of one and a half centimeter squares per second. So what I'd write down here is that given that the rate of change of area A, okay, it's always with respect to time if it's just a rate of change, is going to be one and a half centimeter squares every second. And we've got to find the rate of change of the radius, the rate that it's increasing. So in other words, we've got to find dr by dt. Now whenever I get a rate of change and I need to connect it to other rates of change, I use the chain rule. I write whatever I've got on the top here, on the top, I multiply it by whatever I've got on the bottom down here. And what we need to do is find another d by d something which is exactly the same to write here and here. Well for this question it's got to be a. So put da there and da here. Now we already know the rate of change of area. We're given it. It's one and a half centimeters squares per second. But we need to work out dr by da. And we can get that from the formula for the area of a circle should know that the area of a circle, A, is equal to pi r squared. So from this, we can differentiate this. We can therefore have that dA by dr is going to be equal to 2 pi r. So that means that dr by dA will be 1 over, let's just write that here, dr by dA will be 1 over 2 pi r. So I can put this into here as 1 over 2 pi r multiplied by dA by dt, which is 1 and a half. So we'll put that then as 1.5. And so if you clean this up, what you're going to get is 3 over 4 pi r. So that's the rate of change of the radius. And the units would be centimetres every second, centimetres per second. Now we've got to find out what dr by dt is when the area A is 2 centimetres squares. And we can't do that because we haven't got the radius here at the moment. But that's very easy because all we've got to say is that when A equals 2, okay, or 2 centimetres squares, we know that pi r squared gives the radius, so pi r squared must equal 2. And that means that if we rearrange this for r, let's just come down here, if we rearrange this for r by dividing both sides by pi, we get that r squared equals 2 over pi, and therefore r is equal to the square root of 2 over pi. So if you work that out on the calculator, what it comes to is 0 0.79788 and so on centimetres. So if we substitute this into the equation for dr by dt, that's 3 over 4 pi r, we therefore have dr by dt equals 3 over 4 pi multiplied by the 0.797 8, 8, and so on. And if you work that out on your calculator, what you get is 0 0.29920, and so on. And we're to give the rate of change to three significant figures, so that's going to be 0 0.299, and don't forget the units, centimeter squares every second, per second. Okay, so that brings us now to the end of this question.